first episode of the day and uh, sometimes I find stories that to be honest with you uh, I find this I find, I'm like no this cannot be real but then hey <laughs> this is what it is you just find that that's the nature of the environment where we are which sometimes I think is the most important aspect of this channel is to say this is where we are okay relax this boat is gonna sail and then we'll be in a new chapter so as you can read it in the chat in the in the title over there uh, it is what it is we are about to get into the story structure and show with the daily christian commentary video sometimes we think the daily sun is just out here joking it's out here playing with people but uh, in some of the stories uh, you end up actually finding what church it is and in this one they do kind of give us a small little picture of the area which uh, this particular thing actually happened and uh, with the mention of certain things you can kind of see okay this is a serious story naked church members get bail mm -hmm. <laughs> they got bail uh, this is the house you can see it over there a uh, partially burnt as it might say it says the community of so uh, sondela phase one okay so they've already given you the location if this was not real they wouldn't go that much into detail said they won't allow the pastor to come back uh, to this house uh, that's according to, to to the article it says six people appeared before the rustenberg magistrate court uh, on monday the 13th of june uh, the three men and women were charged with contravening the Sexual uh, Offense Act and uh, criminal injury. Mm -hmm. That is the case that we are seeing here. They say they were granted bail, uh, 2,000 rand bail each and will appear again in court on the 18th. The group was arrested at a house used as a church in uh, Sondela Phase 1, Rustenberg, on the on Friday, uh, the 3rd of June. Following a tip-off, the men and women were all naked at the time of the arrest, except the, <laughs> of course, of course it's the pastor who is, who is still dressed. Uh, of course it's the pastor. It says, of course, <laughs> okay, now listen to me saying, of course. <laughs> That's not what the article says. Ricky, read the article. It says the three and the three the, the men and women were all naked at the time of the arrest, except the 34-year-old female pastor. Mm, it had to be a female pastor. The congregant said they were instructed by the pastor to take off their clothes as she had a vision that Jesus was coming back. <laughs> so what does Jesus coming back have to do with you not being dressed? Hey, I had a vision. You will see ghost you. The story goes on to say six boys and five girls aged. Hmm age 4 and two and 12 were removed from the house and handed to social work thank you very much we thank you for this act uh, they were found with 11 children and were all also they were also in their bathing suits okay they were also in you understand and the house was partially bent after a couch and other items were uh, were allegedly set alight by the church leader. You see, that's another Jonestown now. They were about to have another Jonestown. I don't know how people convince themselves that when Jesus coming means you must go to him. Uh, uh, Jesus coming means he's coming. Okay? Yes. His coming means he's coming. It doesn't mean you must die to go to him. That's his coming. Uh -uh. No, he is legit coming. Don't be fooled by that. Okay, so I guess the, the lady wa wanted to set the house alight. And you can see the house there. Uh, it, it's burnt and thing. And they wanted to use a couch in order to do that. Hey, some people are not okay. And alleged community, uh, the angry community members said, uh, our neighborhood were left for days without food and they were locked in. Eh? Well, our neighbors were left days without food and they were locked in a 
so-called church, I don't think the pastor is mentally stable. We will not welcome them back into our community. The law must deal with them. And they were with kids. People who are at sound mind were, were deceived by this woman. And I guess she locked part of the house and uh, tried to set the house alight. People must watch out who they follow, man. Imagine the audacification. Not only did she tell them that she tried to set the house alight, they were not with food. For how long? Jesus Christ. People must watch who they follow. Not everybody that says they're having visions are having visions of God. Okay? Because somebody said, now all of a sudden you, you make it Bible. What that person said might be deceptive, might be de a pure deception. They might be delusional at what they are saying. Okay? Not every single person that says they are hearing from God is truly hearing from God. It's the reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. There's a lot of red flags already. The naked part already is something else. And also the idea that you, 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 are, you are killing yourselves, you know, to go to go. Where do you get that? 